Coach, talk a little bit about what it's like to, to have a Jada Walker come out of the half and just kind of change the intensity of the game right off the bat. Well, you know, Jada got into foul trouble and we missed her um, in that first half. What she's able to do on both sides of the basketball, obviously she can wreak havoc uh, guarding the basketball, but she also plays downhill. Um, so we missed her playmaking ability um, in the first half. Coach, you kind of said last game during the press conference that that you didn't shoot the ball you thought your team could. The night you guys shot 43% from three, uh, you know, is that kind of what you expected from this team? Yes, we need to be 40% or higher. Um, you know, we're looking for transition threes. We're looking for dribble drive, kick out, or paint touch, kick out, open threes. We can knock those down. Good to see the ball go in the basket in Memorial Coliseum uh, tonight uh, with 10 threes. Um, obviously, you guys kind of came out blazing. I think it was an 18-0 run to start the third quarter. Uh, did you kind of have a message to them during that halftime? Yes, we had a message. We had a message. But you know, I just challenged them defensively. I didn't think we were flying around, playing with the energy that we needed to play with. Um, I started Addie um, in the uh, third quarter. I thought she brought the energy and intensity that we needed defensively. Um, and then Robin hits a three, and then I felt like it became contagious. So um, it was good to see us make a run. That's the spark and energy that we need to put together for four quarters, and then we'll be in business. Uh, Coach, you know, it's one of the basket at a time, two uh, out there that both were sort of like the two on, on one, but that, that second pass, rather than just go right on that second pass, just open that other person uh, up, seemed like that was working. How good for you tonight? Has that been a special thing working on? Or? Well, we just wouldn't be working on our transition attack. We're trying to play downhill. If we can suck the defense, make somebody guard you. If not, um, but we talked about wanting to share the ball. Um, we had 24 assists on 30 made field goals tonight, so I thought we shared the ball offensively. But we're looking to attack um, and make plays at the rim. You know, this team, I, I asked someone to play two for it. There's a lot of new faces on this team. That, there is. about how they are getting to know each other, the chemistry that you see being built. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, you know, we have unbelievable chemistry off the court. Um, they really organically came together this summer. Um, their personalities mesh. Um, they have one common goal, they're trying to win, um, but I still feel like we're still trying to find our chemistry on the court, um, and you don't get that until you just play together. Um, so we will get in rhythm, and I think we, um, having the off-court chemistry will help on the court. It's just going to take time. Coach Emma King uh, tonight was really a spark plug off the bench early for you guys. How's it been seeing her develop last year, but coming into this year and being a real kind of team leader? I'm so proud of Emma King. You know, I thought she gained confidence last year. Um, when we called on her, she stepped up to the challenge. Thought she had a solid uh, summer. Um, and then she's just a veteran now, so she understands what we're looking for. But more importantly, she's playing with confidence. She understands her role. She needs to come in, knock down shots, uh, play hard defensively, 50-50 uh, balls, take charges. She understands her role, and she does it well. Talk about Mimi progression. Well, Mimi is unbelievable. Uh, athletic, versatile, and she knows how to put the ball in the basket. Um, and, you know, I just told her, relax and play basketball. Even if the play breaks down, her ability to create a shot for herself. Um, but just proud of what she can do on the defensive end as well. Um, a work in progress, but I like where, uh, where she is right now, and she will uh, definitely help us. What led to your decision to switch to a full court press? You know, I thought we were a little flat uh, defensively. I thought, you know, we were just putting too much pressure on our half court um, offense because we weren't generating any points off of our defense. So I thought if we could extend our defense a little, try to create some scoring opportunities, uh, help us fly around, uh, force some turnovers to give us easy scoring opportunities. That fourth quarter was kind of a chance for some of us to see uh, this freshman along with the community. So, uh, 
could you talk a little bit on Sonia Tyler and Kenny Cameron in the game tonight? So, um, yes, an opportunity to play uh, the freshman. Um, it's a work in progress. Y'all pray for me. But that, y'all pray for me. But, you know, they are uh, playing so hard. You don't have any experience until you get out there and just have it. Um, but I thought Cassidy Rowe, we called on her early. Um, and I thought she came in. Obviously, she was nervous, first time playing, but settled in in the second half. Thought she made some unbelievable passes. Um, Sanaya just got in the game uh, for them to step up, take charges. Um, obviously, Mimi, uh, you got to see Z tonight. So just trying to get our freshmen some playing time for experience. They're going to be really, really good, and we're going to need all of them <laughs> at some point in time. Yes, it's nice to have a lot of them. Um, Is Kennedy Cambridge still expected to be back on Sunday with the team? Yes, so she's um, day to day. Um, our hopes are for Sunday. Uh, we know she can shoot, but is there anything from Maddie's game that you're surprised of since she's in there that she does surprisingly well or bad? It's up to you. It's up to me. Well, let's talk about the good things. Um, she does shoot the ball extremely well, but um, her basketball IQ is unbelievable. She sees it. She understands it. Um, her ability to make passes. I trust her instincts, um, but also her toughness. I think people really underestimated how tough she really is uh, and competitive. She does not want to lose in anything, and she's been a, a great spark for, uh, for us. But having Jada and Maddie on the floor, that is lethal for both of them to be able to play the point guard position and score and what they can do defensively. But I do need to say uh, thank you for the veterans. Happy uh, veterans today, Veterans Day. It was great to honor them today and all they do to serve our country and protect us. And I hope to see everybody out in Memorial Coliseum on uh, Sunday for Daddy Daughter Day, one o'clock. Maddie, before the season, you kind of said you didn't really have a preference as to what position you played. Uh, you know, dropping nine assists tonight, you looked real comfortable out there at the point guard. Have you kind of developed a liking for that spot on the court? Um, I don't know if I'd say it's a liking for the point guard spot as much as I just like getting assists. You know, I can still, you know, run the wing if Jada's up there, whoever it is. If, even if Blair or Rob gets the ball, we can still push. Um, so yeah, I, pre I, don't, I still don't really have the preference, but you know, I definitely like getting assists too, obviously, so. Uh, Emma King was kind of a spark plug for you guys off the bench tonight. Uh, how has it been kind of seeing her progress from really not getting to play much last season, developing a role this year, coming off the bench and doing something like that? Yeah, I was so excited seeing Emma get out there and hit those um, shots and just kind of making a couple plays inside and with her passing and yeah, I was happy for her. She works so hard every day and she's always putting in extra shots. So just to see that pay off tonight, I think it's just even a bigger like confidence booster for her and just showing the coaches and everyone like what she can do and what she can bring to this team. So yeah, I was really proud of her just stepping in and hitting those shots and I thought she looked really confident. Uh, this is a question for both of you guys. Um, what are some positives and negatives um, that you guys would say you had to the team, some good takeaways and some bad takeaways? Um, I thought some things that we need to take away is just keeping the same defensive intensity throughout the whole four quarters. I thought we kind of just brought that defensive intensity just like in glimpse, especially in the first quarter and third quarter. I thought we had some great defensive plays and we were just really aggressive and going after it, as you could see. But in the second and fourth quarter, we got to keep that consistency and just keep just being aggressive and getting those steals and those quick layups like we can and getting stuff in transition. But I think that's something that going into Sunday, we're really going to focus on just being more consistent. Um, I'd probably say something we, we can work on, and this is uh, you know something we're building, just team chemistry is um, consistency on the offensive end to putting together four good quarters. And uh, you know I think once we're able to do that, and I think a lot of that just comes with, you know, locking in and committing to, you know, running our plays fully and, you know, not breaking it off soon, not doing one pass and shot, kind of moving the ball, getting, getting everybody to share the ball. And <clears throat> a lot of that comes with uh, just being older and, you know, knowing how to play the game of basketball. And I think that'll come. But um, I think that's, you know, an encouraging thing to look at because I think we're getting there for sure. Um, but, yeah, like Blair said, too, I think the defensive part, too, we need to lock in. 
Um, but overall, we, all, we did a great job. I think definitely coming out in the third quarter mm -hmm. is a huge. That first five minutes is definitely huge. Um, and I, I can't – have we had a good third quarter the past Yeah, quarter, I, I think, think that's kind of like what our focus wanted to be on yeah. because, like, coming into the fourth quarter, it just hasn't been that great. I think we've just <coughs> kind of lacked energy. So just to see us come out today it was just kind of improvement in the third quarter, just to step on it, just be more aggressive. Yep. Um, such a quick turnaround, you know, before your next game. You mentioned defense and some stuff like that. Would you say that's your biggest thing you guys want to work on? Now you only have one day. I don't know how much you scout with Coach Carolina. But. Um, I think coaches just really build on defense, and like that's what our team wants to do, and that's kind of our identity, and that's what Kentucky basketball is. So, yeah, I think it will be just not only on defense, but just those offensive boards. We didn't have enough offensive boards tonight. They out-rebounded out us on the offensive end, and I don't think they should – well, they definitely shouldn't have at all. So I think that would just be our focus, just being more aggressive, getting after it just overall offensively and defensively, and just knowing when to slow down. But I think we'll go in tomorrow just like putting this game behind us, but also building off of it and just working on free throws, just focusing in. <laughs> Definitely working on free throws. I don't even think we hit a free throw tonight. Did we? I Maybe missed, one? I missed two. Three, three, we hit three? Uh, yeah, our free throw percentages was not good at all. So I think that would be a big focus tomorrow. A quick turnaround, three games in one <laughs> week. I think we'll kind of be light practice tomorrow, but just really focusing in on the things that we need to. She saw some action tonight, but how big of a role do you guys see Cassidy having on this team? Um, she's definitely a spark. You, you, you guys saw her take that charge. I'm not kidding you. She takes like four or five charges in practice. A day, and yeah. It, I feel like all of them are on me every time. It's so <laughs> frustrating. But uh, she's definitely an energy person. You know, she she has the ability to pass it, really great passer, and she's such a hard worker. So I definitely see her coming in and, you know, doing great things, working really hard yeah. for us. So. And also I just think Cass, like, she'll learn to hit those. I mean, she makes great passes, but like at the college level, I think she's still trying to figure out like the timing and everything and that will come. She'll yeah. learn, she'll become more confident and it's just a little bit different from high school, but she'll just continue to get stronger each game and just like know how to make her passes. <laughs>